My name is Hilarion. There are those who believe that the signs of nature are the signs of your God, of yourself, reflected back to you in metaphor and simile as plants that are growing towards the light, that are rooted in the darkness of the soil that has been fertilized by the recycled nutrients through a warm flesh body of an animal that has fertilized the ground and the beating of the rain that comes from the heavens above, from the temperatures and the winds of the oceans rising and creating this rain, and the pure life of the sun, a star, an etheric body, heavenly body, hanging in mid-air, while magnetic waves of gravity are permeating and cosmic rays are shining and penetrating through everything. And the sound of the eternal universe as reality, known as all that is. All that is, is you. As you come to learn this through exalted experiences, you achieve these exalted states of consciousness through many means. They are all blessed. You will find what works for you, and you shall indulge and create and discover through your curiosity and the blessedness of the fact that you are wonderfully programmable beings. You are wonderfully malleable. You are absorbent and you are resilient. You are everlastingly receiving information through frequency of sound and color <coughs> Emotion, it is up to you as to the depths of your receptive capabilities to understand yourself. There are decisions that need to be made within you in your approach to understanding your reality. These decisions are powerful magnetic waves of energy that ripple through all of your surroundings, both seen by your eyes and unseen. The senses that you have compartmentalized, your sixth sense even, there are seven and eight and nine and ten senses. There are more than even six. What about the sense of balance? Is that not a sense? What about your sense of love, your sense of analytical trajectory, looking into things? There are senses that are innumerable, if one were to get very specific. Our message to you this evening is a wish for you to discover your unlimitedness. For this tunnel vision to be concerned and focused is certainly part of your practical earthly experience, and yet to lose sight of the magnificence of what you are. You are blessed because of this ability to be able to program yourselves, 
You are certainly experimenting with it through your technologies. That the quest to create machines that are intelligent are a reflection of your oneness with the creative force of all that is. For even the loneliest hermit is creating, is interested in creating. Whether he or she is plucking leaves from a branch, it is a creative effort. Or paying attention to their breath is a creative experience depending (coughs) on your receptivity. As you are learning to get a hold of yourselves while letting go of yourselves. Getting to know yourselves while you are learning to forget yourselves. Finding yourself within another and enjoying their finding of themselves through you. You are only as alone as you deem yourselves to be. You may call the consciousness and energies around you by any name. If your belief is in need of proof, who is the deciding factor of what is proof? Certainly time and observation have shown you that even your criterion for proof has been formulated by your parents or those who have been influential to you. What is proof? If you are trying to prove something to others, Perhaps that will bring you satisfaction that you have proved something to yourself. The process, though it is laborious and problematic, shall still lead you to your freedom. And certainly the freedom shall then be realized as there were never any prison bars to begin with. They were imagined And that is the power of your imagination. And yet this word has been dragged through the mud. You are imagining things. It is not real. Are your dreams blessed or not? Are they powerful? and real or not. It is imperative for yourself to understand. It is imperative for yourself to feel. It is not about anyone else. And yet the totality of all of you together are as one consciousness, for that is proven as the word is used, by your own desires, common desires to love and to be loved, to be seen, the joy that you feel in the recognition of seeing others and their beauty, their qualities. Each and every one of you are healers. That is why this gathering has happened this evening in this way. But you must take yourselves much more seriously. And you must not take yourselves as seriously as you have been. What are you dealing with? Where have your thoughts been 
focused on that which worries you, rather than the power of your being. Is that what you expect from your own heroes? And that is assuming you have recognized your heroes. That is assuming you have recognized those who are living in their power. Perhaps you are waiting for something to occur that will match your standards of proof that you are not alone and that you are a powerfully creative being and a healer, that certain things shall prove it to you. If so, then will them into being. If you cannot will them into being, then come into the realization that it already is. If you cannot come into the realization that it already is, then choose something else. Either way, you will come back to you. You are the energy source. When you are trying to get the energy from other things or people or outcomes, what happens? You do not even enjoy it. You are most fulfilled in your realization that the energy comes forth from the center of your being, a being that you cannot even locate for it is everywhere, and that is why those who have experienced exaltation in this way have been known to exclaim, I am God, I am all things, I am everything and everyone and everywhere. But you are waiting for something. Are you waiting for yourselves? There is always guidance and help when it is required and needed, and it has appeared to you in powerful ways. There will come a time when you decide to take it in for yourselves and be done with the nonsensical behavior of not fully expressing what you feel. And what you feel is you. That is the emotion that you are looking for. But all things are a mirror. And therefore you are seeing yourself at every turn. The complexities of nature are simple in their construction to the smallest physical particle it is feeling. And when the petals of the flower are rubbed long enough and they seem to disappear into the air, there is the essence all that is occurring is your resistance to being crushed into this essence. And yet everything that you want to know about, you wish to know the essence. But you are afraid to be crushed to your essence. Why do you think 
The crushing is painful only in the beginning to get your attention. Then the surrender is a sweet one. But you are waiting for others, perhaps, to understand you. You are fearing that if you change too much, you are not changing. As you surrender to who you are, certainly that which you feel is love. You are experiencing this already, each and every one of you who has gathered here this evening. You are standing at this point for yourselves. No step needs to be taken forward. You are beyond physical references. You are tired of them. You wish to go forward, but do you notice that you do not wish to move a muscle? You are tired of having to prove it, for it is already done in your consciousness. What does that mean? The only other choice that is logical here would be celebration. But you have even grown afraid of celebration for the fear or the memories of celebration being cut tragically short. That is the past. Since you deal in linear time, in non-linear time, it is not the past, it is just a choice. You are changing your decisions. These decisions are within yourself. That is the only moment of the reference of something being within. It is a pointer to the communion of self with self and all things. And from this point of all things converging, you may then be and know it. Then your creations are more of a celebration of what you know. And that's truth. Bless you. We are Hilarion and we are your friends. <laughs>